God says you have the helper inside of you in your innermost being. To see the helper grow you, develop you way down there, he must have control. You must come under the influence. The Holy Spirit functions in that which is spirit because that's who he is. In Psalms, hymns, spiritual songs, making melody in your heart to the Lord. In other words, the Holy Spirit fills up the environment that is filled with worship. Worship is the filling station that fills up the Holy Spirit's presence operating in you to engage the new nature to become what it was meant to be. The problem is most of us worship as an event and not as a lifestyle. One of the ways you know you're a Christian is the battle that rages. He says, you have two things and they are not getting along. The flesh and the spirit. The spirit wants to please God and the flesh wants to please you. And they are battling. If you're going through a battle, while you may not like the feeling of the conflict, you can praise God because it is the battle of somebody who's on the battlefield. Walk in the spirit and you will not carry out the desires of the flesh. Now, don't misread that. He does not say walk in the spirit and you won't have the desires of the flesh. You're in the flesh. And guess what the flesh does? Desire the flesh. Walk in the spirit and you will not carry out the desires of the flesh. Not that you won't have them, it's just the flesh won't have the last say.